Hello, I'm Donnie Woe with Geoprobe Systems. I want to introduce to you one of our newer products here on the, on the Drill Max side. This is the new DM450 version 3. So what we try to do with all of our products, but in particular on what we'll be talking about today is we have different versions. So we've gone from version 2 to version 3 now on the 450. So the engineers have come up with a list of things that they wanted to make better. And so that's what you're going to see here today. Uh, so this is one of the new things on the V3 is we're using a Western Star 47X truck. Uh, this truck has 470 horsepower with an Allison automatic transmission. Uh, one of the reasons we went to this is we've been selling more of these units, you know, out west, places where they have to climb up hills. Um, the other trucks were kind of lacking on horsepower to do that. Uh, so we've got a truck now with, with a lot of power that can get up and down these hills and maintain some speed. The other reason is, is because, also because of the horsepower, we're able to do more things with our options. We can play with air compressor stuff a little more. We can play with mud pump options. If there's a little more we're able to give you by going to this truck. Uh, we'll walk back here to the hydraulic tank. Hydraulic tank is mounted right behind the cab. We have a very easy accessible drain so if you need to take the oil out. Also on both sides of the tank, we have our clean out. So when you drain the oil, you can unbolt these, take these gaskets off. You can actually get in there and wipe these uh, tanks down clean to ensure that when you put new oil back in them, that it's, uh, that it's good and ready to go. We have four leveling jacks on the machine. Uh, all four jacks are 36 inches of stroke. And then this is a 60 inch toolbox that we make ourselves here. So this is a nice big toolbox made of steel. that's got two uh, lockable latches on it. Um, very rigid for holding up. You need to put bits or heavy tools in it. Um, good strong bottoms in them. Uh, we have a very easy pull out ladder here. So this just uh, just pulls up and stores in the rig so it locks in place. So when you're going down the road, it, it can't just pull out. You actually have to lift up on it to get it to come out. But this is something people have been asking for. Uh, that we really like makes it easy to just get up and uh, up and down off the deck. So normally your air compressor will be mounted here. We still use the 500-200 compressor on the V3. Uh, this guy just has a lot of deck space. He did not need a compressor. Uh, he will be using a sandline winch to to bail the wells to clean them out. We'll come back here to look at the new twin centrifugals. So this is our standard placement for a 4x3 centrifugal mud pump. Uh, no different on this machine. But again, because of the extra horsepower we have in the Western Star truck, we're able to mount twin centrifugals. So we got the second centrifugal pump up on the deck. So what we can do with this mud pump setup is you can run one pump or the other, or you can run them both together, you know, supercharging. Um, so this particular guy is gonna be drilling some larger diameter holes in West Texas. And he wanted to make sure he had enough, uh, you know, volume pressure to be able to clean the hole. So he wanted dual pumps on the machine. We'll walk back here to the control panel now. All right, so control panel for the DM450, very simple to use. Um, we got our setup features up here, your four leveling jacks, your mass lift, and then this is your regular feed here. So you'll just detent this, and then these are your drilling. This is your pull down pressure valve and your hold back valve. So after you're done setting the machine up, the only thing you'll use here is your regular feed throughout the day. Uh, bottom valve bank has all your other cylinders, your breakout wrench, your top head slide, your jibs, uh, your two winches, all that is down here on the bottom. Uh, one feature the 450 does have is it slides, the top head will slide both directions. So the controls down here on the bottom are for the carousel. You have your head feed to the right, or your head slide to the right, so this will take you over to the carousel to add another rod. And then you'll use this one to slide back to center. Uh, your carousel rotate is right next to it. And then we also have a breakout fork up top. Uh, when you're tripping out of the hole, this is how you'll, you'll break your connection at the top. Um, up here is your slide left. So you'll slide left when it's time to set casing or you just need to get the top head out of your way during the day on the job. All right, uh, rotation control on the DM450. Again, it's meant mechanical control. There's nothing electric here. Uh, very simple, you got your forward and reverse, and as you stroke this down, you're increasing the rotation speed. 
Um, also, a variable of that is what your engine RPM is. Um, as you increase engine RPM, you increase the speed of your mud pumps and your rotation. One centrifugal, your main centrifugal pump is run off of this control level. So you can control your volume control right here. And then the second pump is run off of this pot here. So it's just, it's an on off. And then you can control the speed of that pump from this knob. Uh, we have a new MD4 display. We're able to read all of our engine gauges. Um, there's some other things we can do in here. Um, troubleshooting wise that we're able to help you with when you're on a job site. And we have emergency stop switches on both sides. We have one on the control panel here that'll kill the engine. And we have one on the uh, helper side underneath the uh, pipe rack that'll kill the engine. All of the uh, ball valve handles are right here, very easy to get to. This is for your uh, uh, mud mix, uh, main mud flow down the hole, uh, air compressor on off, and then we also have a dump valve for the air compressor. We'll switch over here to the table. So it's a very easy table to use. You can kind of see as I'm standing here at the control panel, the, the table is just right in front of the driller. So everything is just right here, very easy to get to. Your drill string's easy to handle. Your casing's easy to handle. Um, very easy to just work right here at this table. Um, if you're setting steel casing and welding, we have enough movement, enough room where you're able to weld on top of this table if you want to, or you're not having to dig up inside the mast or get down on your hands and knees underneath the rig. So it's just very user-friendly, easy table to use. Um, on this table, we have a, just one table bushing that fits whatever size drill pipe you have. If you remove this slip, you're able to set 10 inch casing uh, without retracting the table. If you need to do anything bigger than 10 inch, you pull the slip out, retract the table, and you can hinge the gate to set up to 16 inch casing through the table. Uh, one of the new features on this uh, DM450 V3 is our top head. Um, what we've done with this top head is we've uh, gone to bigger bearing package, bigger seal package. Uh, we've gone to a what we feel is a better swivel assembly. Uh, basically what we've done is we've um, increased the, the, the size of the bearings to keep them, give them better longevity. But on the swivel, we've, we've made it as close to possible as we can that water cannot get in the uh, top head. We've done, we've done a better job sealing that off up there. And we also have bigger escape holes. So if your swivel packing starts leaking, that mud's just gonna come pouring out of those holes instead of going down into the top head. Um, adjustment on the packing is uh, very similar to what it was before. Just a very simple end field change. You can tighten the packing in just a minute or two. Um, if you have to replace packing on a job site, it's usually a five, 10 minute job. Very, very simple, very easy uh, top head to do daily maintenance on. We'll come around to this side to look at the carousel. So this machine's equipped with uh, three and a half inch tooling. So when we're using three and a half inch tooling, the carousel holds 12 rods, which is 240 feet. And if you get the pipe rack to go along with that, you can carry a total of 600 feet of three and a half on the drill rig. Um, we do have another option uh, for this machine for three inch rods. We do have a lot of customers that do a lot of uh, four inch steel casing work and they need to go inside four inch casing. If you wanna use three inch drill pipe, we can get a, a 15 rod carousel on so it'll hold 300 feet in the carousel. And we've got quite a few of those out in the field now too. Around the side of the machine are the controls for the uh, back feed system. Uh, very similar to the 450 and the 650 have a back feed option. So as your driller is drilling out of the carousel, your helper can go in, pull a rod out of the pipe rack and refill it into the carousel. So in other words, if your driller's drilling a 500 foot well, he can drill all 500 feet out of the carousel, not have to, uh, not have to switch up how he drills down. We're very happy with the way this machine came out. For more information, I encourage you guys to look us up on the website at geoprobe.com. Give us a call at the office at 785-825-1842 or better yet, just call us up, come out here, give us a visit. We'd be happy to spend some time with you, give you a tour of our facility, and do whatever type of demo you'd like to see. Um, we, can, we can do that with, with any of our models. Um, we'd love to have you come out and visit us. Thank you for watching, we'll see you soon.